It's official. Louisiana is now in our third coronavirus surge and officials say if things do not get better soon, more people will die. We have to do better. The effort in Louisiana is inadequate to the task. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards pleading with residents to do better and take the coronavirus seriously. This after cases spike once again and officials announced the state has reached a third surge of the pandemic. Things are going to get worse before they get better. But how much worse is up to us and how soon things get better is also up to us. Officials say a big difference between the first two surges and this one is that many health care professionals have left the field. Doctors say every single hospital in the state is at risk of being overwhelmed. The stress on the health care team and in certain individuals has become too much and despite their career aspirations to take care of those that are sick, some have decided to leave the profession. I don't blame them. The White House Coronavirus Task Force sent out a report urging Louisiana to step up its restrictions, but Governor Edwards says he has no plans to do so just yet. It is not my intention uh, to go all the way back to a, a shelter at home. We won't need to do those things. With the holidays quickly nearing, officials say right now is not the time to get lazy and break the rules. Think about what you're really thankful for this season. Think about who you're really thankful for this season. Think about what you want to be there next Thanksgiving as well. Dr. Thompson says even though we've been dealing with this pandemic for more than nine months, he still has some patients who do not believe that the coronavirus is real. And just to be clear, the virus is very real and officials are urging everyone to continue to wash your hands, wear a mask and practice social distancing. For now, Kennedy Walker, back to you. And Governor Edwards adds that it is possible the state will begin distributing a coronavirus vaccine in very small numbers to healthcare workers by the end of this 2020 year.